Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to the week. I hope everybody is doing well, and this video finds you well. As you know, I enjoy doing videos, and so we do th we do them every week for a couple minutes to talk about a topic that some may think may be challenging. For some, it's a topic that they deal with every day. For others, they don't. But the great thing is, at the end of this discussion, we'll all have a common understanding. Also attached to this email, besides this video, is going to be a PowerPoint. PowerPoint is going to be on leadership. And the specific question that we're going to be addressing today is the difference between a leader and a manager. There are differences between the two, and it gives us a chance to talk about them. After this presentation, if anybody has any questions, always know you can call me. Everybody has my phone, and by now you know that I call back within an hour or two. I'm very quick about calling back. So don't hesitate to send me any questions that you have, and we'll certainly look into them. So, in addition to learning about a leader, which we'll have in that PowerPoint, here's some thoughts on the difference between a leader and a manager, and that should help you do some of your assignments this week. It's a common misunderstanding, actually, to believe that managers and leaders are one and the same, and that a good manager is also a good leader. A person can be both. Some individuals can envision the future of an organization, which is a key trait of a leader, and then marshal the necessarily and necessary organizational resources to achieve that vision, which is a key goal of a manager. That distinction, though, is more the exception than the rule, and here's why. Every organizational role, both if you're a leader or a manager, has a different skill set, and it's the rare person who actually possesses both. Steve Jobs is a good example. Steve was the chief executive officer of Apple Computers for a number of years after its founding, and he parted with the company a few years after its founding, um, mainly because he was he had the leadership role and then he had to manage a business and he didn't do so well in man managing a business. He found it was much different, less interesting, more time consuming. He was much more of a visionary person. Of course he later made a triumphant return to the top position at Apple Computers having learned the necessary skills to manage an organization. And his tenure, his recent tenure at Apple Computers which ended you know, with his death, is a Testament that a managerial skills can be learned if you have the knowledge, desire, and the ability to do so. Generally speaking, leaders set the overall direction of the organization. They determine the goals that the organization will pursue, and then they select the manager, manager to achieve them. Managers, in contrast, have some influence on the direction of the organization, but more so on how those goal, goals are achieved. An analogy helps highlight the different roles of a leader and a manager here. As a leader, you may want to determine the country to visit, but as a manager, you determine the best mode of transportation to get there and where to stay once you're there. So successful organizations, they actually use both. They have visionary people with an idea or concept for something different and better, and this, for, this uh, success forces the organization to grow in size and scope. And at that point, it becomes necessary to create an organization people to help the organization get to where they want to be. It becomes necessary to hire the professional manager as the knowledge and skills necessary to create an organization are sometimes different than the knowledge and skills necessary to manage the organization. So leaders and managers both play vital roles in the organization, making it necessary that they possess the required skills, knowledge, and abilities that are unique to their profession, along with an understanding of the economic, political, and societal events of the day. There you have it. The differences between leaders and managers. Anybody has any questions, comments, anything else to add, please don't hesitate to let me know. I'll post some additional information in the thread. And of course, I always look forward to hearing back from you. Everybody have a great day. Call me anytime.